When we set out to design Waves' first in-house developed audio interfaces, we began with the Waves signature preamps. That's the heart of all the interface products that Waves now has on the market. The electronics, the design, all developed with one thing in mind, to have the best sound quality that we knew how to deliver. Hi, I'm Rich Cabot. I've been in the audio industry for about 50 years. Started out my career designing test equipment at Tektronix, moved to found Audio Precision with some of my fellow co-workers at Tech, and ultimately found my way to Waves. Now, one of the projects that I started on early on for Waves was the Waves Signature preamps. In the design, we put a lot of attention on what's needed in live sound and how to make a hardware platform that really is optimized for what you encounter in live sound. That's not just the range of signal levels that you get, anywhere from a very insensitive microphone, which gives you low amplitudes coming out, to a line input, so you get that wide dynamic range, or what you get when you're miking a wide range of instruments, whether it's a drum kit or a vocalist, you can get huge swings in level, but also the vagaries of the live sound world is that you have things like RF interference, other equipment that's on stage, or you get common mode noise from power lines that are nearby, a whole host of things you don't want in your sound. So we designed the signature preamps to have not only wide dynamic range, but also rejection of common mode signals, rejection of RFI interference, so that you get a clean sound, not only from keeping out what you don't want, but handling what you do want well, so that you don't get clipping, you don't get misbehavior. The design was done in a very balanced sense, not just the way you view balance in audio, but balance from an overall architecture, where we made sure that the design didn't favor any one part of the signal chain. So you get a signal chain that is not going to clip in any one area or be noisy in any one area. You get a signal chain that's very forgiving, regardless of what gains you set and how you use it. So where you're talking about the front end where the transistors first meet the audio, or you're talking about the gain controls that are spread among several stages, or you're talking about the ADD converter. Every piece of the chain is optimized. There's no weak link in the chain. One of the features that's inherently part of the Waves Signature preamps is the ability to model the warmth that you get off an analog console. So you have your choice through a button on the UI to get a completely transparent sound or a sound that's got the pleasant colorations of a traditional analog console. And we don't just do that in software, because if you just do it in software, you lose the interaction of the microphone and the console. So we change the impedance of the preamp input so that we load the microphone in the same way that traditional analog console would load the microphone. We believe we've created a product that will meet the needs of the live sound engineer, make them very satisfied.